Welcome sa e-school ng bayan. Andito ako para samahan kayong mag-review. Tara, aral! Again, lowest term, uh, by definition, ang lowest term is a fraction in its lowest term if the GCF of the numerator and denominator is 1. Another way of saying it is kapag wala nang common factors. Okay? Maliban sa 1. So, wala na siyang common factors. Wala ka nang maka-cancel out. Okay, let's simplify this. For the first one, so, in-explain ko lang this way, Alam ko naman na isang tingin nyo palang alam nyo na to, pero uh, kung napanood nyo yung video on prime factorization, diniscuss ko rin yung isa sa mga applications niya would be simplifying fraction. So, ilista nyo lang yung prime factors niya. 6, that's equal to 3 times 2. Yung 27, equal yun sa 3 times 3 times times 3 or 3 cube. So, may isa kang 3 sa taas, may isa ka rin 3 sa, may 3 ka rin sa baba. So, magka-cancel yung isang 3. You will be left with 2 over 3 squared, which is equal to 2 ninths. Okay? How about the next one? 4 over 70. This is what? Divisible by 2. Right? So it would be 2 over 35. How about 16 over 80? Ang 16 divisible siya by? Anong or greatest common factor nila? 16 kasi 80 is equal to 16 times 5. So, kapag hindi kayo magaling sa ganun, or hindi nyo nakikita agad, pwede nyo naman siyang i-factor out. ba? Or i-kukunin nyo yung prime factors ng numerator and the denominator para makita nyo isa-isa. Okay? So, here ang magiging sagot po would be 1 over 5. How about 7 over 6? May common factors pa sila. Wala. So, actually, lowest term na to. So, sa mga nahihirapan, ganito yung prime factors. 16 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Ang 80 mo naman is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. So, magka-cancel lang yung 2 raised to 4. May iwan ka with 5. Kaya 1 fits. Okay, dito naman, meron ka rin ito. Magka-cancel lang yung isang 2 from numerator and isang 2 from denominator. May iwan ka sa taas ng 2. Sa baba, 7 times 5. Kaya 2 over 35. Naka-follow naman lahat, ba? 49 and 14. Okay. Ano ang prime factors ng 49? <coughs> hindi siya divisible by 2. Hindi rin siya divisible by 3. Hindi rin siya divisible by 5. Divisible by 7 ba siya? Yes. So, if we divide 49 by 7, okay. we'll get 7 ulit. So, 7 ulit. How about yung baba? What are the prime factors ng 14? 2? Divisible siya by 2. 14 divided by 2, the answer is 7. Okay? So, since meron kang isang 7 sa taas and meron ka sa baba, cancel out lang sila. Ang answer dito would be 7 over 2. Okay. May nagbigay ng example, 256 over 8. So, 256 and 8. So, kunwari, sabi natin, hindi talaga namin alam na divisible siya by 4. Okay? Or hindi ko talaga alam na divisible siya by 8. Kunwari lang. So, gawin natin, divisible siya by 2. Kakaroon ka ng 2 times 100 ilan? 128. Okay? So, yung 128 mo, divisible ulit by 2, you will get 64. So, marami-rami maram, to. So, itigil na natin dito. Ito, 8 and 8. Kasi goal din naman natin makita yung 8. Eh. So, sa taas, we have 2 times 2 times 8 times 8 over 8. So, ito, magka-cancel we will get, ano yung sagot dito? 8 times 4, 32. Okay? So, basta identify nyo lang yung factors niya. Okay? Equivalent fractions. What are equivalent fractions? So, pag sinabi natin equivalent fractions, yung lowest terms niya are equal. So, in short, yung value mismo ng fraction mo is pare-pareho lang. For example, equal lang yan sa 3 ninths. Kasi kapag i-divide mo yung numerator and denominator by 3, ang makukuha mo is 1 third. Or ipag- Pag i-simplify mo ang 3 and 9, makukuha mo 1 third. Same with 27 over 81. Pag i-divide mo yung taas and baba ng 27, ang makukuha mo rin is 1 third. So for example, what if pinapahanap ka ng equivalent fraction? So to get an equivalent fraction, you only need to multiply the denominator and the numerator by the same integer. 
So, for example, here we have 1 third times 3 over 3, makukuha natin ang 3 ninths. Kaya ang 3 ninths is an equivalent fraction. Okay, the same with 27 over 27, makukuha natin is 27 over 81. Okay? Um, anyone. Ano yung equivalent fraction natin na may denominator na 12? Ano yung integer natin na imumultiply doon? Kapag 12 yung denominator, para maging 1 third. 4, di ba? So, we will have 4 over 12. 4 over 12 is an equivalent fraction ng mga fractions na nakikita nyo ngayon. How about similar fractions? Similar fractions are fractions na merong the same denominator. Okay? So, magkaiba ang equivalent at similar ha. Pag sinabi mo equivalent, equal yung value. So, yun na natandaan nyo. Equivalent, equal. Pag similar fractions, magkamukha lang sila or in short, yung denominator niya is magkakapareho. So, kung may similar tayo, meron tayong tinatawag na dissimilar. Sinasabi niya na basically hindi magkakapareho yung denominators. So, here meron tayong 3, 9, and 12. Magkakaiba yung denominator. How do we convert dissimilar fractions to similar fractions? So, first is get the LCM of the denominators. Or, another term for this is least common denominator. So, ano yung least common denominators mo dito? It would be? 36. Okay, LCM of 3, 9, and 12 is 36. Okay, how about pagdating sa numerator? To get the numerator, dapat the least common That's denominator, right. divide mo siya by the denominator times the numerator. Okay? So guys, take note na iba-iba yung multiply mo sa bawat fraction. Okay? Kasi magkakaiba sila ng denominator. Eh. So here, 36 divided by 3 that's 12. So, 12 times 2. Kaya makuha mo yung 24. Gawin din natin to sa ibang fractions. Sa 7 ninths and 5 twelfths. Okay? Bakit 4 yung multiply dito? Kasi 36 divided by 9 is equal to 4. Okay, 7 times 4. Bakit 3 dito? 36 divided by 12 is equal to 3. Okay? Kaya 3 yung multiply sa 5. So, we have here 24 over 36. 28 over 36, and 15 over 36. 